Okay, there is no other way to cross the river Bryway. Everybody. Finally I am back and uh, this time I made some plans tonight we expect uh, let's say around 30s so it'll be colder so I brought my sleeping bag and I have plans uh, to build uh, the shelter which I somehow get uh, idea about uh, which is called coffin shelter here is my equipment, as always, I am here at a very small, uh, let's say, line of trees where I can hide and somehow change my clothes, my classical woodland camouflage, I believe it will help me a lot to blend better with this environment. So about this trip plans I want to try something different but something what can happen easily and the plan is to get from point A to point B in this case I been dropped at uh, Location where I uh, change my clothes and everything close to civilization and people and uh, my point B is uh, Basically east from that location across the river and uh, It's not big river but uh, Definitely I cannot just jump over that river, so I would need to find out some other plan how to get across to be picked up tomorrow at point B. So I get to this spot on the other side of that open field and uh, now I have to go that way to pass a little creek it's a little bit lower than where I am and as you can see here is my shadow because the sun is that way so Everybody who might be there can see my silhouette So I have to keep my body very low Not to reveal the silhouette Against the Sun, it's very important It's also very important to plan your next steps, to check where to go, where it will be the best coverage for you. As you can see there is the fork from the main river which I need to cross now and get on the other side over there.
I came to this area uh, because I'm searching for a good place to build my shelter and uh, this is what I'm looking for a lot of leaves that's perfect because uh, leaves will be a big part of my shelter perfect I finally found my spot for my shelter there will be my head here will be legs the shelter basically will be hybrid between tarp shelter and debris shelter clean up first Coffin shelter will work. I finished the shelter, some food, just a piece of sausage and bread and garlic, that'll be all. My following report will be from inside the shelter. It's warm, I feel definitely difference in temperatures between outside it was 41.8 and inside the shelter almost 60 and as you can see I covered the entrance by my jacket so I'm trapping the warmer air if I can say inside so as always, see you in the morning. Oh, good morning! <laughs> Not bad night, not bad. I was up a couple times, but no shivering, nothing like that. I was warm and that was my goal, perfect. And one of the reasons why I call this coffin shelter is because it's very hard to get out. So I pulled 
all my gear from the shelter and so uh, now I just need to take the tarp down and to uh, somehow pack everything what I have and to uh, do some breakfast and continue with my journey we are not done yet I need to cross the river don't forget Now, just the quick breakfast, the leftovers from yesterday dinner, piece of cheese and piece of bread. Alright, so as you can see, everything is packed, the shelter is somehow uh, covered and uh, I have about 45 minutes to get on the other side of the river to be picked up and go home. And in the meanwhile, when I'm going to the river, I just want to honestly talk about the shelter. The idea is not bad but it definitely needs uh, more time, which I didn't have. It would need, let's say, extra hour to do it the way I planned. So maybe next time that will be uh, some upgraded version, something like that. As you can see, I am at the river very close to people so have to be extremely careful I need to get under the bridge mud a lot of mud okay I am under the bridge Hopefully safe and not spotted. Okay, there is no other way to cross the river driveway. I need to just walk over or I cross. Bad. I just 
just hope it's not gonna be deeper.